Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm going to be doing a whip and chat, which is something that I haven't really sat down and filmed in months. <laughs> I am so sorry. If you are new to my channel, um, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is basically where I sit down and chit chat with everybody, tell you what's going on in my personal life and the things that I've been excited about and whatnot. And this is a long overdue update, I know. Um, I really haven't had the capacity lately to, to share a lot of what's going on. And uh, today I woke up and I decided that it is a good day. It's a good day to do this. So feel free to join me. Um, today I am going to be uh, diamond painting on the Bayou Lady, which is a diamond art club um, diamond painting. And sorry, most of what you can see is actually my keyboard. Um, I'm going to be using a Muni Made tray, which I got from Etsy. And I'm using my Enablers Outpost pen. This is um, a beautiful flower girl blanks pen that I got around Christmas time last year. I didn't make a specific video on it um, because there was a lot going on at that time, but it is gorgeous. I love the thickness of this pen. Please check out Enablers Outpost if you are interested in thick diamond painting pens like this. I'm using Elizabeth Ward bead storage containers. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to that company, but you can find bead storage containers on places like Amazon and other websites um, without too much issue. And I will link a kind of a a company or a, a link to, to one that's similar down in the description box for you uh, if you are interested in getting something like that. But those are my favorite diamond painting containers to use. And uh, without further ado, we're just going to get into it. How have you been? What are you up to? Please let me know in a comment. I would, I would love to catch up with you and to hear how things are going in your life. Um, I truthfully have just been uh, doing nothing but diamond painting on Twitch and, you know, doing a lot of um, a lot of streams over there. And I would I would love it if you would join me over there. My Twitch username is Rachel Ray Craft. Just like just like it here is here on YouTube. I go live over there on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's around, I think I start at about 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I know that that's not, you know, ideal for a lot of people, but it is something that I really enjoy doing, and it would allow us to interact live. Uh, which is, again, something that I just don't, I, yeah. Going live on YouTube has been um, difficult for me in the past, and I really enjoy my Twitch family. So I would love it if you would join me over there. It's free to follow, so you don't have to pay anything, and I'd love to catch up with you. And um, maybe, maybe if you've never tried it before, you would love the experience. I know some of you had told me, uh, in the past that you are not interested and that's fine. If you haven't changed your mind, that's fine. You do what you need to do, but I would love to cordially invite more of you to come over and, uh, and see what we've got going on over there. And of course my computer is making battle sounds. <laughs> I'll just mute that. So, um, let's, let's catch up on what has been going on. So as you know, um, I, I went over to the States. Um, I spent Christmas over there. Um, and unfortunately my grandmother passed away on New Year's Eve. Um, I have been trying to, you know, 
deal with is not the right word for this. Um, I've been, you know, managing through my grief and um, it it is really hard. Um, I'm not going to lie. So uh, I've taken I've taken a little bit of a step back from working for the past while because I knew that I needed some time to just work through my feelings and um, allow myself to to grieve a little bit. It's been it's been really hard emotionally because. I would, I, I, I'm the kind of person that likes to not feel their feelings and I prefer to throw myself into working and not, not having to process, um, really painful things, but, but, um, it has been, it has been, you know, two and a half months now since that happened. And I think it is about time that I start coming back around into, you know, being myself and doing the things that I love and working again. So that's why I'm really trying to put out the effort here to, um, to get back into things. Um, one of the things that I have noticed in the past little while is that I wasn't really taking care of myself um, physically. So um, it is it is one of my focuses for this year is to get healthy and to um, <laughs> you'll you'll see why I'm laughing here in a minute. But um, genuinely, like just to take care of myself and. Um, and work on not just being the chick in the craft room, which is something that I say um, when when people are like, oh, my God, look at you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I think you misunderstand. Like, I'm I'm filming this video in my bathrobe. OK, <laughs> we I am just a normal person. But yeah, um, it has been. It was for the past two months, it was going really, really well. And I was even just about to invest in a treadmill to have in my home. We don't use a, a dining table in my house. We, we eat in the living room and, um, I was about to move out our, uh, dining table and put in this, um, cool treadmill. And unfortunately <laughs> last Saturday, I, I took a tumble. Um, I have somehow, um, I just, I just have really weak ankles. This is the second time in like, when was the last time? I think the last time was in September of last year. Same foot. Um, anyway, I, without getting into like gross details or anything, I, I thought that I had sprained it. So, um, from Saturday to Friday, the, you know, this past Friday, I was, you know, keeping my weight off of it and, um, using crutches because I have crutches left over from all the other times that I've done this. Um, but it was, it was Thursday when I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if this feels like the other times that I have twisted my ankle, sprained my ankle, torn ligaments, like I've done it all. I better go to the doctor and I better figure out you know, I, I just, I just need some help, right? Y'all, I go to the doctor on Friday morning. He looks at it and he pokes and he prods. He looks at me. He said, Rachel, I don't think this is a sprain. I think that you've actually broken your fibula. And I was like, what? So he explained that, um, I probably have a fracture 
in my one of my leg bones, which is, you know, you've got a tibula or a tibia and a fibula. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not excited about this. This, this is like the worst possible outcome for me right now because there's so much going on and I don't want to be, I don't, I really just, would like to have full mobility right now. It is coming up on spring, first of all. Secondly, um, Wolfpack, my friend Wolfpack Diamond Painting, that I did the diamond painting event winner with DAC 2022 with. Um, she's from North Dakota. She has a YouTube channel. Please check her out. She's coming to visit. She's coming to visit at the beginning of April like in less than a month, she'll be here. And I want to show her around and, you know, be able to be the, the tour guide that I intended to be. And I'm really sad that, um, I'm probably going to get casted, uh, on this, this upcoming Tuesday. So I do have an appointment to get an x-ray on Tuesday and y'all, um, I know that it's not a hundred percent certain that I have broken my leg, um, a bone in my leg, but, uh, I'm going to tell you right now that the pain that I've been going through for the past week has been, off the charts in comparison to what I've been through when I've done this before. Um, in fact, I woke up this morning as I'm recording this, it is Saturday at 10 30 in the morning. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but that's, it's the 11th and I have been awake since six 30. Uh, I went to bed at like 1230. I woke up because of the pain. And I, I am just, you know, it sucks. It sucks. Um, I'm mad because losing your mobility, it, it really, it affects you so much. And for people who have to live like this, like what I'm experiencing right now does not compare to what people have to live with every day uh, when, when they have these issues, but I'm, I'm so over this. Um, I have to think about, I have to think carefully about where I'm going, what I'm taking with me. Um, I, I can't really carry anything. I'm so dependent on other people and I hate that so much because I'm a really genuinely independent person. Um, so having to rely on other people, it's just making me feel, I don't know, just gross. I, I don't like it. So anyway, um, I'm sure that a lot of you can relate and I don't even know. I mean, there are people that I'm friends with that deal with these things and they live alone. So <laughs> the empathy that I feel for those of you who, who have issues where like, for example, just off the top of my head, like EDS where, um, you know, you have joints that pop out of place and stuff and it's super painful and it, it decreases your mobility. And if you live alone and you don't have anybody that can help you, like, I am so sorry. So yes, this is, this is my week so far. Um, and I was not feeling like on Thursday, I was just not mentally uh, okay to stream because <laughs> I felt like it was the only thing I could talk about. And here I am just talking about this on this video, but I feel like it's important to update you guys. That's, that is, uh, 
one of the reasons why I'm like, well, to take my mind off of it, maybe I should make a video. <laughs> um, so other updates. Um, hmm. I've been diamond painting. As you can see, I'm now on Tiana's Calavicle. And I've really been enjoying this painting. It's gorgeous. And it's a Mandy Manzano. Um, a gift from one of my patrons, Michelle, who's been incredibly supportive and, and lovely um, for years. I I really like this painting and it's going so, so well. I'm making sure that just, just for me, I'm doing Tiana's skin one over one on this painting so that there isn't a lot of noticeable gapping because I know that when I multi-place, I'm not so careful. I'm sure that you can see over here, like in the background, I, I don't mind because it, for me, just doing the painting is the therapy because this is why, why I do this. I do this to like relieve stress and not necessarily for the end result. The end result is great. Don't get me wrong, but, um, you know, I'm, I've, I've left behind the perfectionist part of me, uh, very early on in this, in doing this hobby. When I first started, I was very, very anal about, you know, oh my gosh, the diamonds have to line up and they have to be perfect and I can't have any gapping and, you know, all this stuff. Um, so I understand for um, people, people who might feel that way, but um, I let that go so that I could enjoy the hobby a little bit more. Um, if, if I were to stay that particular, I think it would make me want to do it less if that makes sense, but that's just, that's just me. Okay. Um, but I have, I've really enjoyed working on this painting. It's been a, a blast. I do diamond paint over on Twitch a lot. Um, I usually try to switch back and forth between cross stitching and diamond painting. Um, but because the diamond painting is, is very much a desk hobby, <laughs> I, um, I tend to diamond paint on stream quite often. And, uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll play a game or two and I hope, I hope that I can stream a little bit more over there soon, but at the moment I'm just doing two days a week. Um, what else is going on? Uh, since this happened, I started knitting a lot on the couch because um, I need to keep my foot elevated, which I've been in here for four hours. I probably need to go sit on the couch again and just lift this leg up. But um, it's been it's been nice sitting there and getting my knitting done because I'm really close to a finish on this little like poncho that I'm making and it's by the designer Casa Pinka. She makes really easy to follow patterns. So if you're a beginner like me, I only started in 2020. Um, the, the patterns that she makes are, are, have very clear instructions and, um, I enjoy them a lot. They're also really great if you find that, you don't like, for example, okay, the poncho that I'm making right now, the original design is made for you to use like a 12 skein mini set. So if you, if you purchase these little tiny mini skeins, different colors, usually they come out with these mini skein sets around the holidays, but you can buy them any time of the year, really. Um, they, this, this pattern is great for that because every section you change colors and that keeps the interest in the piece. So much like diamond painting, you know, if you've got a painting that only has like a solid black background, kind of like Nightbringer or something like that, um, you might get bored really quick. I got really bored, um, for a little while 
working on that painting because the background was all 310. Um, still love it. I mean, it's one of my favorite pieces of all time, but um, the background was very, very boring. So with these types of patterns, um, she will switch up colors or techniques and it keeps people with brains like mine uh, interested. You don't like lose lose interest really quickly in the pattern. Um, for me personally, I actually picked yarn that I was supposed to use for a different project, but then it just seemed really maybe a little too, um, too advanced for my skill level. Back when I first started knitting, I didn't realize how ambitious a lacy shawl would be especially because the shawl was worked in two pieces and then put together. So you would have to, I, I would have to knit the same thing twice. And I knew after starting it, I had a gut feeling that I would not enjoy doing it twice. Does that make sense? So I, I frogged the project and I, um, I decided that I'd use the yarn for something else. And this project came up and I was going, Hmm, I, I like the sound of this project. I think that I would rather, you know, use the yarn for this purpose. Um, I have to say that it was a great decision. I'm glad that I did that because it's now a five color fade and it's going to look gorgeous. I, I know that. All right. I needed to grab a new color. Um, so yeah, I know I'm, I'm diamond painting and I'm talking about knitting, but I'm, I'm the kind of person that does multiple crafts all at the same time. Um, I, I find that I'm kind of unable to keep my attention still for long periods of time and I enjoy changing it up often. I'm going to change the angle real quick so that you can actually see <laughs> what I'm doing. All right, how is that? Um, here I'm going to do the checkerboard method and that's because the um, the skin, like I said before, you will, you will really notice on the skin in a diamond painting if they're, if it's uneven. Um, I'm not perfect with it, but I enjoy changing it up for this part. It does take a lot longer. Um, let me know if you're watching this video right now, leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you, do you single place? only. Um, I wish I could do a poll on a video, but I don't think I can. But yeah, I'd be interested to know because I do know a couple of my friends who just use the single placer and just do one diamond at a time. But uh, normally I, I multi-place because I, I like to see progress. Um, like I was saying earlier. Anyway, yeah, I cycle through different art projects, different, um, crafts daily. So I've been knitting, um, someone's having a dream. Can you hear her? Um, I've, I'm really close to finishing that poncho. And then I've also been cross-stitching, um, not as much. I did start the stamped cross-stitch that I showed you all last week, and I do plan on making a tutorial video. I just really wanted to get to a point where I could um, fill in the last color in a section so that you could really see it, you know, coming to life and it would look pretty on the camera. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's why I wanted to do it that way. Um, but so th that video is coming, but also I've been working on 
a piece that um, is called the Friendship Sampler. Uh, that piece is by designer Michelle. Uh, Michelle is one of my friends over, you know, in the floss tube kind of circles, the cross stitch circles. She's a designer and um, she, together with one of her friends, Janine, um, who goes by the blue flower on her designer name, um, so Bendy Stitchy and the Blue Flower, um, they created this little sampler that is super cute, and um, it's me and my friend. You probably know Heike, um from other videos of mine, but Heike is Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. She is also a YouTuber who... Um, has taken a break for a little while from making YouTube videos, but I would love it if you would check out her channel, um, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, all one word. I'll leave a link down below. Um, she she was uh, very prolific at diving painting and doing comparisons and um, especially finishing diamond paintings. Like she was very fast. Um, but lately, we, we both got into cross-stitch around the end of 2019 um, and decided when I saw this pattern back in 2020, I decided that that fit us really well. So I said, hey, why don't we do this together and we will do the top half on our own project and then we'll swap it and do the bottom half on each other's and then that way we have a little bit of each other you know in our home and uh th you know this was this was at the beginning of the pandemic like you know it it's very meaningful to us so I'm currently working on that and I am about 50% complete with the bottom half so I've been focusing on that a lot and for those of you who do follow my fiber arts channel I made a completely new YouTube channel just for cross stitching because I wanted to separate out the the diamond painting and the cross stitch but um I haven't made an update in a while I've been doing like monthly updates so far and it's just because I've been focusing on like one or two pieces a month. I'm trying this new thing because for me, I, I like to change my projects often or I thought I liked to change my projects often, but it turns out that um, I just don't see much progress and then I get frustrated. So instead of doing that this year, I've decided you know, I would like to just focus on one or two projects a month. Um, and I know that there's no pressure to, you know, complete this. She said it several times to me, like, you can work on other stuff. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. But I have the momentum, so I'm, I'm going with it. It's just like with this project and with diamond painting, I tend to work on one project at a time and not switch it up. Um, something that's really common in the circles that I am in when it comes to cross stitch is um, they're very like topical projects and a lot of people will change up what they're working on from month to month. Um, and I have not felt like doing that this year because of this new, you know, approach that I'm taking. I don't know how long I'll do this um, or if this will even last the whole year, but I would really like to be able to see finished projects done this year and also to be able to like fully finish these items, have them framed and put on the wall because of how long it takes, you know, cross stitch takes a really, really long time, especially in comparison to diamond painting. And if I keep starting new projects every month, for me, it feels like 
and it's I know it's not meant to feel like this at all and there's no shade to anybody that does this but in the last year or so I felt like you know doing these prompts and stuff is starting to make me feel like I'm having to keep up with the Joneses and it doesn't feel authentic to me so that is another reason why I've kind of pulled back from from updating so so often um, again no no disrespect or hate to anyone that does that I think I think that it's really nice to have to stitch for a cause to uh, raise money for events and things like this for for charities that need it to get the word out there and you know use your platform for what you believe in absolutely 100% um, it's just that with everything that I've been through in the past while, um, I, I am feeling overwhelmed by working on a lot of things at once. So I've just, I've just made that personal decision for myself for just a little while, see how it goes. And then, uh, I'll reevaluate how I feel, but one of the things that I'm really looking forward to that's happening this year after Wolfpack goes back home, I only have like two weeks before I am going to travel to Toronto again with James, but I'm also going to be attending Stitch North, which is a stitching retreat just outside Toronto. Um, and I'm traveling with Heike, uh, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, and we're going to be meeting Jesse, Miss Aid Pages, uh, and also um, so many people. Michelle Bendy Stitchy will be there. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, Jasmine Knitting Nurse will be there. Kaylee Tent Stitch will be there from the sewingshop.ca. Um, and so many more. There's so many to name. This run, it, this run, this retreat is run by Caroline, who is the channel Off the Grid Needle Arts. And um, she owns a company called Evertote. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to meet stitchers, um, especially meeting people that I've made friends with on Twitch and on YouTube. So there will be quite a few of us uh, descending upon the outskirts of Toronto uh, at the beginning of May. And after the retreat, we are going to be doing some sightseeing and then I'm gonna be seeing some family with James. Uh, we're gonna be hanging out together at Jesse's house and just enjoying each other's company. So I am looking forward to that. I'll be able to see my dad again and my mom, my sister, my brother. And I think it'll be a really good trip. Um, and then we'll come back around mid-May and uh, we have a wedding in just a few weeks after that. My brother-in-law is getting married to his fiance, and it's just, it's such an exciting spring for us this year. And with everything that's been going on, I know that the, the thing, the one thing that I haven't talked about is my mother-in-law's health, um, but it hopefully, fingers crossed, she will be with us for the wedding. Um... It's been a really tough few months for her and for my husband's family. Um, it's been difficult for me in a different way, just because I have already experienced um, quite a lot of, of death in my family lately. And I'm at trying to support while being supported. So, uh, it's, it's a, a difficult time, but I'm really working through trying to see the, the blessings in all of this 
and I'm trying not to um, sound too much like toxic positivity here, but um, it's really easy for me to to spiral into negative thinking. And um, we're trying to enjoy all of the time that we have together. There is no more treatment um, scheduled. So um, we are just enjoying all of the time that we have left together. And that's really hard to say out loud. So the spring is kind of uh, bittersweet for me personally. I am looking forward to seeing my friends. Um, I'm looking forward to enjoying enjoying life. Um, I'm pretty mad that I broke my leg, but, um, that's just, that's just a temporary inconvenience in the scheme of things. I'm really happy that I have a supportive group of people around me and it, it is the only thing that's keeping me afloat at this stage, I'll be honest. Um, but, uh, I have been, like I said, focused on, um, my physical health and trying to get answers for the problems that I've been having the last couple of years. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the year where things start to fall into place. And I do appreciate all of you who have been sending your, your support and well wishes my way. Um, it, it's incredible how lovely this community is. So thank you all so, so much. I think, um, I think that it's going to be, um, a challenging year for me, but you know, if you think about it, every year is a bit challenging, isn't it? And it's all, it's, it's going to happen to everyone eventually. So, um, I am just trying to go with the flow on this and, you know, um, like I said, enjoy the time that, that we have, enjoy my health while I have it and, uh, make the best out of my plans. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but yeah, hopefully this is coming out not as nonsense. Um, plans for this month in particular, I know that Patty's Day is coming up soon. And uh, I'm not so sure that I will be really celebrating. We don't, we don't celebrate the same way that... Um, like I would have maybe, well, I don't know if I even celebrated it, to be honest, when I lived in America. Um, if you didn't know, I live in Ireland. Um, I, we might have a parade in our little town, but, um, it'll be for children, you know, just like a couple floats and someone dressed as, as St. Patrick. Um, but, I will probably, <laughs> we were talking about it, um, if, if I have mobility, I don't know if I will be able to, to walk in the parade, but, um, my brother, my brother-in-law, Rory, who owns a restaurant named Camo's, uh, he just, <laughs> he literally just this week, um, they won a, an award where they were the best casual dining restaurant in Munster, which is a whole province. And that's incredible. That is, that is wonderful news. And I am so proud of him and his team. Uh, they, they have these really silly costumes where it's like a bottle of salad dressing. So we might dress up as bottles of salad dressing <laughs> and, and walk in the parade. <laughs> 
guess if if I can't walk in the parade, it's okay too. I will sit on the sidelines and enjoy a cup of coffee <laughs> and watch the kids' faces light up. It is it is really really a sweet time. Everyone is excited about spring, you know, and getting some sunshine and some leaves on the trees, you know, and making it feel a little less wintry and barren. Today's today's weather, let me know what it's like where you are. Today is very chilly um, and windy and rainy. Um, and it only just started getting windy and rainy like a few days ago, maybe, maybe even just Wednesday night. Um, and it occurred to me that in the past two months, it really hasn't been very wintry here. It's been quite mild. And, um, and that's been amazing because normally we would have storm after storm. And I'm talking like almost hurricane level storms where you'd have, you know, the kind of wind that frightens people because it sounds like voices and, um, it's just, it's difficult sometimes being down here near the coast in the winter because it's, it's always you know, raining and windy and miserable for the, these two months, usually January and February, but this year it hasn't been so bad. So I'm curious to see what this summer is going to be like. They are saying that it might even be akin to what we had in 2014, which we, well, I, I dubbed the, the, the best summer, the, the year of the good summer, uh, where it was just sunny and warm and beautiful all of the time, which is also quite atypical. Uh, normally you'll get sunny days, but you'll always get a rainstorm first. <laughs> it's silly, that, but that's life. That's life on the coast. That's what it's like in Ireland. If we didn't have the rain, we wouldn't have the green fields. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it's just, it's been a very mild winter and, um, I, I think that that is something to smile about because, um, it's just one less thing to make you feel absolutely miserable when all of this stuff is going on, especially for me and, uh, and things that I've been thinking about lately and, and having to live through lately. But, um, I think that's really enough about that. Um, I, I would love to see you again. I would love to see you over on Twitch sometime if you have, if you have the time. Uh, and like I said, I'll be expanding my schedule and, uh, and going live over there more often. You can interact with me, um, just like you would interact with a live stream here on YouTube. And, uh, you don't have to worry about any bells and whistles. Just come in and say hi. Um, I would love to see you and to answer any questions that you might have. Um, thank you to everybody that does support me over there. I do appreciate you and you make it really fun and inviting for everybody who comes in. Um, I am not near the partner level yet because, uh, I tend to stream in a European time zone. So, well, because I live here. Um, so if you are in Europe or in Australia or, um, anywhere, anywhere near me, uh, Eastern time zone, um, maybe you'll pop in sometime. I'd love to see ya. But I think for now, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I can't really think of much else to, to talk about at the minute. And I want to make sure that you have something to watch. Um, so if you have questions for me, please leave them in a comment down below and I'll, uh, I'll make sure to answer it for you. 
um, maybe in the next video because it'll give me something to focus on. <laughs> I would love that. So yeah, please, uh, please leave any questions down below. I hope that you enjoyed this little catch up. And if you're looking for other videos to watch, um, since I'm taking kind of like a, a hiatus, not really of my own choosing, but you know, um, I'm going to link, um, a playlist of me and my husband doing what we called theory Tuesday or the weird and wacky with Mr. Ray. Me and my husband made this series of videos. And, um, as of right now, I'm not sure when that series will come back because of what I was talking about. But, um, if, if you want to have a laugh and you would like some company while you craft, I would really highly recommend it. And I would love it if those videos could get some more love. So please share them with a friend or uh, maybe in your crafting group uh, so that other people can enjoy them too, because I cannot wait to start making that series again for you when things settle down a little bit. Uh, maybe in the summer. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a really wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care everyone. Bye! <laughs>